In order to prepare a bladder installation, the following items are needed. A 30 cc syringe with an 18 gauge needle. We use sodium bicarbonate. It's an 8.4% solution. We use three cc's of that. We use about five cc's of sterile water. We use 40,000 units of heparin. And we use 10 cc's of 2% lidocaine, which is 200 milligrams of lidocaine. In order to mix it up, we usually start with the sodium bicarbonate solution. This is 3 cc's of 8.4% sodium bicarbonate. We then put in approximately 5 cc's of sterile water. Forty thousand units of heparin. This is thought to be helping recreate the gag layer inside the bladder, the glycosoaminoglycan layer inside the bladder, which is formed of heparin and a few other molecules. It's thought that the missing heparin is part of what is the pathophysiology involved in the development of interstitial cystitis. And then two hundred milligrams of lidocaine. The dose in milligrams of lidocaine seems to be the important part. So if you don't have 2% available, you could use 20 cc's of 1% lidocaine, and that would be 200 milligrams. So that's a bladder installation. It's complete, ready to go. Then this can be taken into the patient's room, and we have the following equipment needed for the bladder installation itself. We've got the bladder installation. We simply wipe the urethra with a little bit of iodine on some swabs. We have a urine cup. We use usually use 8 French pediatric feeding tubes, which you can see the label here. And this is what they look like. And we simply use a little bit of sterile lubricant on the tip of the uh, catheter when it's inserted into the urethra. We put the residual urine into the cup and we'll test it for possible infection or blood and simply instill the solution into the bladder. Following the installation, we remove the catheter we ask the patient to hold the solution in her bladder for one or two hours, and that's how to do a bladder installation.